What's up guys, I've had the Outlong GT for about 48 hours now and I wanted to give you my first impressions of MoYu's latest 3x3. The Outlong GT is MoYu's latest 3x3 in its Outlong line of cubes. And when I heard MoYu was working on a new Outlong, I was really excited. A well broken in Outlong is still one of my favorite cubes to date. It was fast, smooth, controllable, and very fluid. So naturally, I had high hopes for the GT when I heard about it. But after playing with it for 48 hours, I can safely say it's nothing like any of the previous Outlong cubes, which honestly really disappoints me. I was super excited to try a revamped Outlong, but instead got something completely different. Outlongs were always light cubes, and the GT is definitely in the heavyweight class of cubes, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I typically prefer lighter cubes. The turning of the cube is also very heavy. So far my biggest complaint is I overshoot a lot, and not necessarily because it's a fast cube. I think the pieces being heavier makes each turn go further because of the momentum. Maybe I'm crazy, but that's what it feels like to me. And so far I'm really not a fan of the overshooting. It makes it very difficult for me to perform ALG smoothly. It's a bit hard to describe the feel of this cube. A lot of people are saying they think it's just a faster Tanglong, but I don't really agree with that. Out of the box, the plastic feels smoother than the Tanglong, and when you're turning really fast, there's this small bump and or feedback that the cube gives, something that I haven't seen on any Tanglong before. The feel of the cube is actually pretty nice, and if I can find a way to slow it down, it might have some potential to feel really, really nice, but we'll have to wait and see. On a small side note, I really wish MoYu would make some smaller 3x3s. This is a 57mm 3x3, and I've been using the Thunderclap as my main for some time now, which is a 56mm 3x3. And 1mm really isn't that huge of a difference, but I can definitely feel it when going between the two cubes, and I think I prefer 55 and 56mm 3x3s over 57. Not that this being 57 makes the cube bad, I just wish MoYu would make some smaller 3x3s. MoYu for some reason decided to change the shades on their 3x3s to much duller shades, and I think a lot of people won't approve of this. For me it doesn't matter because I'll always replace the stickers, gotta have that pink, but they are significantly duller in comparison to previous MoYu cubes, and I don't think people are gonna like that. I will continue to solve and break this cube in and report back to you guys in the full review, but for right now I don't think the cube is anything super special out of the box but I definitely think it has some serious potential to be really good. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.